Hello guys, welcome to Total Technology. I am Shukrutin and we are back with a new series of video and in this series we will teach you the basics of Python and this is the chapter 1 of the starting where we will discuss about why we should learn Python, why it is important and basic setup and installation to do to make your PC ready for Python code. So, first thing first, why should we learn Python? So, in today's world, in 2019, you can see around, it is all about sensor and data. All your things are going smart and it will collect all the data. So, big data, uh, IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, all things are going on. And, you know, the basic thing, to develop these things are written code in Python. Python is the basic thing. So, if you are interested to grow your career working path in this that direction, so you should learn Python. And you know, it is a basically very very easy language. A 12 to 13 year old boys and girls can easily learn it. It is that much of easy. So, if a code, suppose you have file open in code. If you write in C++ or Java, it will at least take 5 to 10 lines, or uh, minimum that. And if you write in Python, that code will simply one or two line, two line maybe. But so it is a that much of easy thing. It has a huge library which is very well developed, and the basic machine machine learning and artificial intelligence, all these platforms are given by this Python language. So. I think you already came the interest to work the Python. As there is, a, I should share one one background of mine because uh, user doesn't know me. Uh, actually, I am basically from a code field. Code field means I am uh, in code working in the code code field in industrial automation, where there is no need of no need to know the Python or very high level of languages. There is only you just simple Visual Basic type of scripting and other uh, FBDDC type of PHP type of programming and channels kind of things. But in the industrial automation field also, industrial automation is going in IoT space, in industry four, industrial Internet of Things. So if you Want to grow or know something or know something new about how, how it is developed, how it is uh, going working. It is a very good and great time to start learning Python. That's why I am also interested to train you to working in this field. I am also interested in learning Python and this stuff. So, basically, what do you need? You need a couple of software. One is, uh, say, uh, I will list it down here. So, say, first thing you need is Python package. So, where will you find the python package? Just google python, it will be simply python.org Go there And download Click on download For windows version After you download that I have already downloaded it and I have saved it in my Save Here Python 3.7.2. When you click on install, just remember to select an option add to path. Tick that option. This is important. You click next, next, and it is a very easy process. You can easily install it. Okay. After that, what you need? The IDE. Integrity development environment. There are lots of IDs. Say 
by John Jupiter visual for eclipse whatever you are comfortable with go download that i am not telling you use this one or that one but in my case i will use visual code i thought it is okay and uh, is okay to use visual code. Okay means uh, it takes uh, much more low memory than other because uh, if we uh, if you see I am using my laptop which is a quite old one so PyCharm and Eclipse will not work yet <laughs> that's other thing but here yeah, basically you can go for it so in our tutorial I will uh, use the visual code so uh, again I will with use git bash for it so, and what Terminal, terminal, I already have installed all the software here. You can see it is visual code here. It is PyCharm. I will not use PyCharm. And this is JBash. So, after you install the Visual Studio Code, it will open like this. In customize, you just click on Python Apps, Tools and Support, under Tools and Language, Install Support for Python. If you click on Python, it will just install the support for it. Okay, now, just go to, say, Now go to terminal and click on new terminal. It will show you the <coughs> terminal here and from drop down select the bash. If it is not your default, make it default. It will show you the option to <coughs> make it default. Now <coughs> That's it guys, this is the setup you need to do and whether your python is installed successfully or it will work or not, just go to start, type cmd, and type python, see python 3.7 is already installed and working. Now. Uh, today we will do some do one basic programming today. For not programming, I will show you uh, how to use this bash. Uh, so suppose you want to know in which directory you are, you need to click the type pw doesn't work in directory. You want to change your directory. Suppose you want to change it to C drive. C D C colon slash slash. So you can change directory to C. Two. Again we will change directory to our working directory D. Sorry. C D E. Now, we want to clear this screen. So, type just clear.
Now to show view the how many files are listed here. The other four, sorry, folders are listed here. Command is ls. These are the folder which I have in my e drive. So now how to code your Python or run your Python here in git bash. It is very simple guys, just type code space the file name suppose I want to be print dot file dot py the extension of the file. Please now start opening your file. It will code and here it will be file. I will just print one line. Print Print just hello one. Generate the output you need to type Python and the file name. Okay. So that's it guys for the chapter 1, it is a very easy one and keep follow us, click the like, share and subscribe button and we will do the share of basic of Python video. So don't forget to watch that. Thank you. Bye.